This is Twit. You know, I, I, I've been doing this for so long, and I beta test a lot of software, and I, I, I'm always kind of out on the leading edge or whatever. I, I, I go to Windows Update without thinking about it. It's just like a, you know, like a rat in a maze getting a piece of cheese or something. Like I, <laughs> on my Android phones, I this past year at some point, I took the Google Play Store off of the home screen because I was always going into it and downloading app updates manually like an idiot. If you ever do this on Android, you will have 12 app updates or more every time you look at it. Like there's something really strange about it. <laughs> there's always app updates. So they're going to install anyway. Like why? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, it's been my attitude. So, but yeah, on Windows, I still, I still do this. You, you click on it and it's just, and I didn't click like check for updates. I just went to Windows update. Now my system is sitting there waiting for me to reboot. And it's going to bug me for the rest of the day you until know, I do it. You know who this is hard for? It's not hard. I mean, it's hard for people like you and me because yeah. people ask us. Like right. I, on the radio show, every weekend, people will ask questions. And I have to constantly change the answer because Microsoft yeah. has now changed the underlying mm -hmm. thing. And, you know uh, what? I'm going to... Now that you guys are talking about this, I'm going to ask for a formal answer from them, and I'll report back next week what okay. they say. Okay. It's weird. It's the behavior is weird. But this is, yeah. but uh, throughout settings, there's always things, especially in this install recovery yeah. update sphere. They always seem to be mixing things up, and I just and they're I, always changing how it works. Yeah. I feel like, right? And I don't know what to answer anymore. Yeah. So now yeah. we have and literally the whole in a thing test with the A, B, and C and D weeks, and what yeah, you we get in preview each updates week and how they won't have, even call. I mean, I listen patch, to you guys Tuesday every patch. Wednesday. I I should be that should be. I, <laughs> I talk every Wednesday, and I'm still confused by this. I don't know. It's it's bizarre. It's pretty funny. It really is. Uh, and meanwhile, Mary Jo is, there we go, unfrozen. You were temporarily frozen. I know, I got frozen for a sec. Oh, I Skype, <laughs> I was like, Skype now makes a sound to oh. indicate that you have somehow stopped. <laughs> like I could oh, see. Oh, really? It does? It goes, boop, boop. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, yeah. weird. Everybody heard it. So I didn't Mary hear it, Because she was stopped. Because <laughs> I was frozen. Okay. <laughs> so the rule is if you are a, norm, a normie, do not go to that update section of the settings. Just leave it alone. Yeah, and that's a terrible thing to have to tell people because you should be able to click on Windows Update, not click on the up, Check for Updates Now button or whatever it says, but just look at the interface. Um, but unfortunately, when I just did that, and this is what happens, it, some updates start downloading. Some do go into that optional block or whatever. But um, Here's another yeah, thing. Uh, Here's another thing. They've now changed, man, I don't know when they changed this, but when I go to settings, mm -hmm. uh, now besides having a lovely picture of, uh, of me, which I, I put there, uh, <laughs> yep. it now has a big yeah. button for Windows Update. Like, I'm right. supposed to check that. So if they're saying don't check that, don't put that on the front page of settings, is that new? Yep. They used it's, to at least bury uh, yeah, this it's, down um, here, update and security. Now it's, it's either right there. 20 H2 or 20, uh, 2004. It's it's a newer thing. So th th if they don't want people to click it, they shouldn't put a giant button. So what's worse is, I, and I can't, I'm not going to be able to get this off the top of my head, but when you first sign into Windows, like if you get a new PC or whatever, that area at the top of those three options has another thing that says, hey, you got to finish setting up Windows 10. Oh, yeah. And when you click on that, then then it goes to this uh, system where um, now you have this stuff that you have to deal with. So you need to know how many Microsoft Bing rewards points you have for some reason. That's just as important as your data being backed up to OneDrive. Apparently, and OneDrive your computer being up to date. Rewards and update. That's what matters. I don't even know yeah. how I got these rewards. <laughs> it's going to be right? worth at Isn't least a five dollar Microsoft <laughs> Store yeah. gift card. I've earned a badge. There you go. Wow. I have a badge. Yeah. You know, you, you were saying if normals ever go to Windows Update, I think most normals will never go to Windows Update unless something's unless Except somebody tells them. If you go to settings now, it is the big fat button right in the middle of the See, top. you know what? I, I just went yeah. to settings and mine doesn't look like yours and oh. I'm on 20 H2. Oh, so what is yours at the top? Does yours say Mine just looks the like the it old must... settings page. It's but it doesn't have like a message at the top that says get started nope. or something? Oh, nope. I, that's... Huh. And you're on Windows 10 Home? Microsoft account? Windows 10 Home and 20H2. 
Oh, and you sign in with a Microsoft account? That. My Microsoft account? Are you signed into, you signed signed into Windows? Microsoft? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm yeah. signed into Windows. There's no accounting. Mine just looks like the old Windows different. settings page. So that, well, I don't like to that, hear this because, yeah. you know, I don't know if I mentioned it recently, but I write a little book. I, I like to be up on this stuff. I'll send you a picture I, of what I, it looks I like. I really feel bad for you, Paul, because if I mean, you got to put that in the book. Your screenshots change all the time. I know. Oh, by the way, I can get ten points if I do healthy yoga exercises. All right. I well, see. we have time. Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's, shall I do a light speed quiz? <laughs> Whatever you go, there you are. Still, a little geography can't hurt. Why is this? What? Which of these countries is landlocked? <laughs> I don't. Why do I? Why? Why are you even seeing this? Why am yeah. I seeing this? <laughs> Ireland. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Iraq is not landlocked. Armenia has no coastline. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Microsoft. <sighs> Paul, I just sent wow. you my exception. Yeah, I see that. Right? That's the old style. I, it has not looked like that in a long like. time. I don't know why you're saying that. Well, Long Dog's saying like what I have been years. saying, Long Dog. You're not disagreeing <laughs> with me. Long time Windows users always go to Microsoft updates, but that's but what we're getting now from Microsoft is the message: you should not be. You that you're makes you be a updating seeker. Updating your PC so much, you're going to think it's a career. No, look at this. Look like, at this on no... Twitter. Look, somebody on Twitter, Ryan, who's watching, said, I have three devices. One has the page that I have, settings page, mm -hmm. and the two others have the page that Leo just showed. Oh, my God. And there's no accounting for it. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Put that in your book. Put that in your book and smoke <laughs> Stick it. Stick that in your book and smoke it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow, we we, uh, right. we have uncovered something. All right, I'm going to ask them about that too. I'm going to I'm going to put in a query and just say, hey, so just you know, we were musing about this on Windows. <laughs> I want to see what the official statement is.